Hello, it's Karen here from Property Zest, and I'm talking to you today about a case study where I've been looking at Chinchilla in Queensland. Now, Chinchilla is located in southeast Queensland, and it's perfectly located in the Surat Basin, which is one of the key mining regions in Queensland currently. Now, traditionally, agriculture was the main industry of this location. However, with the mining resources boom in the Surat Basin in full swing, Chinchilla house prices and rental yields are on the increase as this location really experiences some rapid growth and development. Now, if you're looking for where it is on the map, it's about 300 kilometres northwest of Brisbane, and it's got a population of about 5,500 people. Now, this is significantly higher than what the population was back at the 2006 census, and it really indicates the strong growth of the region due to many mining projects based around the coal mining industry, coal seam gas, and liquefied natural gas in the region. In terms of the property, I chose a property that is a three-bedroom weatherboard home located in Chinchilla, about five minutes from sort of the local parks and services on a large corner block, which is actually about 933 metres squared. Now, the purpose of this case study is just to demonstrate to you how looking at a particular property from a number of perspectives can help you decide, uh, number one, if the property is going to be a, a fair and... and um, viable investment and number two what is the best use of the property because often you really need to have a look at it and think of it from a number of different angles because you may find that one outcome is far better than another so the home has three bedrooms and a study or a second living area and the asking price of the property is $365,000 the current rental appraisal is $460 per week unfurnished so let's take a look at the opportunity here and think about what we can do with this property and what are the, some of the things that we'd need to consider. Now my immediate thoughts on the property are at looking to increase the available accommodation on the block in order to maximise cash flow. There's a block that's quite large here, it's on a corner so there's a lot of potential to do things. Now a couple of things that you need to really check up on here is council restrictions, um, there could be rules on block sizes, uh, the amount of land that you're allowed to use for dwellings, things like that the amount of accommodation that you can put on the block within the location. So you really need to go and check council regulations and restrictions, and do your due diligence there before you buy a property based on you know your potential to do something to it, make sure it before you buy a property based on something you want to do to it, make sure that you can actually do that thing to it. Um, the other thing that you want to think about in this area is that uh, Chinchilla was affected by the Queensland floods, which weren't that long ago, and you probably want to look at flood zones in this area to find out whether this property in particular is in a flood zone um, for a couple of reasons. Obviously, you don't want your properties flooded because that's a bit annoying. <laughs> and number two, it's hard to get insurance or it may be hard to get insurance or the insurance may be expensive if you are smack in the middle of a flood zone. Now, let's look at the numbers on this property here. Based on the numbers at present, the purchase price of 365k and a rental of 460 a week um, the yield here is about 6.5%. Now, this property will be negatively geared to the tune of about $70 per week or so, and that's assuming 100% borrowing, so that's where you're borrowing 100% of the property, um, and or you may be using equity, because if you're using equity in your purchase, then you are using borrowed funds. Uh, it's also based on a 38% tax bracket and an interest rate of about 7%. Now, obviously, if your factors are different for your purchase, you might want to play with that and see how you go. Um, so if we start to look at maximising the use of the existing dwelling, we can improve our situation here to make this investment work for us. Because currently, you know, it's negatively geared. You know, I don't know if you, you might want to be interested in negative, negatively geared property. So let's have a look at what we can do and see if there's anything that can turn this property into a better investment for us. So scenario one we're going to take the existing study slash second living area and turn it into a bedroom and then we're going to rent the home fully furnished to increase the yield. So let's pretend that our, our renovation, our furnishing costs are around $5,000 and we're going to get a new rental return of about $600 per week. We now have a yield of about 8.5%. Now that's pretty much neutrally geared, if not a little bit positive. It's not a bad little purchase if you believe there's going to be capital growth in the area, which there may well be, but once we get into more adding uh, more living areas to the block, we might start to see some really good things happen with this number. So let's take a look at scenario two. Let's turn the existing study or second living area into a bedroom, add a three-bedroom, three-bathroom dwelling to the block, and then rent both of those dwellings out fully furnished. 
So now in addition to in addition to our 5k of renovation and furniture, we need to add a build cost. So we're going to allow about 225k for a three bedroom, three bathroom dwelling. We're going to throw in about 20k or so for additional costs that might be associated with permits and bits and pieces. So now we have our existing home rented at 600 per week and our new property we're going to be renting out at 700 per week because it's brand spanker. And this gives us a yield of about 11.4%. We're suddenly earning about $215 a week based on those parameters I talked about earlier of 100% borrowings, 38% tax bracket, 7% interest. So it's about $12,000 now positive per year from this, which is fantastic. But let's even take it a little bit further. Let's look at scenario three. What if we could not only turn the existing study or second living area into a bedroom, but we could add a duplex so two times three bedroom, three bathroom dwellings to the block and rent all of them out fully furnished. So now in our costs area, we've got our 5K renovation and furniture. We've got a build cost now of 450K for our duplex and then, you know another 20K, as we said, for additional costs associated with permits and, and the like. We now have our existing house rented at 600, our two new properties rented at 700. We've now got a yield of about 12.5%. We're earning $425 per week. So it's about $22,000 per year from the property. Now, I don't know about you, but it sounds pretty good to me. Um, now, deals such as this are, are not that uncommon in the Surat Basin region at the moment, and that's one of the reasons why we're visiting the area very shortly, taking a look at what we can see on the ground. So thanks for listening. If you're interested in finding deals like this, making it happen, feel free to contact me at propertyzest.com.au.